Hello, and welcome to Stardew Valley on Playframe. Hello. Carrie and Daniel back here again. We're both here. <laughs> I remain in the passenger seat, and like the rest of you, now I can finally enjoy sort of just backseat driving, really. Oh, good. <laughs> That's what this is going to be then. <laughs> yeah, for now, but not for much longer, because just today, just today as we're recording this, finally... <laughs> yes news has come down the pipe that the yes, yes, yes. Switch version of Stardew Valley, uh, the multiplayer, which has was long ago foretold, <laughs> is finally entering the QA stages, which means that we're probably less than a few months out from it showing up. Which, that's exciting. So, uh... It is very exciting. That means I won't be staying in the passenger seat for too much longer, but in the meantime... Let's all just sit and chill and watch Carrie do farm things. And I apologize, I can't remember the name of the, the lovely person who sent us the uh, tweet. The notification. But, um, oh yeah, someone we alerted heard about us this. to that. I yeah. heard about this because someone sent us a tweet. Yeah, so thank you to whoever it was. I think w at least a couple people uh, sent me an alert that, oh, hey. Sorry. To our valued Jojo Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal, pursuant to initiative L610091, the mm -hmm. Jojo Company Amendment. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. <laughs> Morris, from Jojo Customer Satisfaction Representative. Mm-hmm. Sorry about interrupting what you were saying with Not that. Not at all. I don't I... even remember what it was. It's day five, the fifth of spring. <laughs> the fifth of spring. Yes. <laughs> it's day five and we are here a couple days after where we left off. Yeah. Because uh, I'm pretty sure that today is the day that we start the process of opening the community center. Yeah. So... I figured we should do that. We decided to skip a few days ahead just because... Get some progress under Yeah, our honestly, if we're doing like a Stardew Sunday thing on this channel once every... So even just once every week, and we probably won't be every week. Yeah. The rate of progress on this game will be very slow indeed. And so if I can only play one day a week, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> I don't think I can live through that, that torture of having to restrict myself so dearly. Yeah, having to do just a single day of Stardew a week would be pretty painful, actually. Like, I'm not even as hooked on it as you are. I love it, but, like... It would destroy me. It would. <laughs> it would not... I, I mean, I would have to play two farms at once, and that just feels a little weird. I don't know. Bit excessive, yeah. It feels like you're always... You always would be missing the thing that you had in the other farm. And That's I don't true. want to play that way. I don't want to live that way. <laughs> I have a really hard time, like partly just because I lack time anyway, but I have a very hard time like maintaining two saves or playing two different versions of a game if I have like a game on two consoles or something just because different friends are playing. Oh, yeah. That's not a time. Yeah. No, that makes sense. You kind of have to pick one and just go with it. Yeah. Sorry, by the way, I'm talking a bit softer, partly because like it's the end of a long day, <laughs> for one thing. Uh... Partly because I've got terrible mic discipline. Well, no, partly because, like, we've not... Oop. Oop. Nope, tell him later. We'll get back to that later. <laughs> Important things first. I forgot what triggered it. Oh, hi there. Well, hello, Mr. Mayor. You're that weird psychic girl. I am. What you want to go saw. see the, the, the rats inside this building? They're not rats. <laughs> I like that he just turned to stare at you when you said it. <laughs> This is Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. You're gonna sell it to Joja if one more person buys a membership there. Okay, you should maybe just stop talking, you're freaking me out a little. <laughs> it used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. But you knew that already, didn't you? <laughs> I did. Now just look at it, it's shameful. These days the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. Lewis, I, I've i never known a generation of children who, like, made a point of engaging with the community. <laughs> yeah, that 
sounds a bit suspect. I think he's got a rather rosy view of his own childhood. I agree. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. I guess he knows it. Joja Corporation's been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. No. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. Me. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Ah oh, well. If anyone else buys a Joja Company membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. I'll make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> Ominous. <laughs> <sighs> Here, let's go inside. Yep, rat time. Wow, this place is also crustic. <laughs> I feel right at home. Hmm? What's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. Hmm. Engaging with the community, you might say, Louis. <laughs> what are you complaining about? Yeah. <laughs> They're in What's the community that? center. They're the only ones still using it. The kids are all right, Louis. <laughs> This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Jinmos. What? Junmos. What are they called? Junmo? Junmos? Junimos? I, I think Junimo. I can't remember exactly. They're cute! They I are don't remember cute. what they're called. What's the matter? Are you ill? <sighs> no. I just. No. You saw something? Yes. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place is full of rats. If that was a rat, it was a very green and chubby... There's another one. Ah! Green chubby rats! Green chubby rats everywhere. You're worrying me, Carrie. <laughs> oh, just now? Just now I'm worrying you? <laughs> Look, I think I'm gonna go head home. I need some lunch. Hmm. Hmm. I could use an after-dinner snack. Are you hungry again already? Maybe a little. Maybe me too. <laughs> hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can catch that rat if you have some extra time. We'll see about that. Not that hungry yet. Hmm. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. I think that's my voice. I think so. I guess you I'm should very... be reading those. I sound very deep and bassy and rich. Wow. <laughs> Man, my voice has never sounded so good. But yeah, I am talking a little bit more quietly this time. Partly because it's been the end of the long day. Partly because we're trying to figure out our recording solution in here with these two mics. Just because we've not really sound dampened the room enough to... like My voice bounces off all these walls and, catch, and gets caught on all the mics. And I can't manage to speak loud enough for any mic anywhere in existence to pick me up. Nonsense. It's the microphone's fault. But it's also, not. <laughs> Stardew Sunday is chill, so let's be chill about it. And <laughs> okay. calm and relaxed. You, you want me to be chill and calm and... No, I would... No, you have to speak up. I do. You have to strain your voice the entire time. Me. <laughs> as loud as I can. Me, I just have to keep things calm and chill. What's this? Oh, right. Cool. I can't read that. <laughs> Yeah. Um, right. Okay. I remember what this is. That is okay. That just means we have to go see the wizard. This town has a wizard? Yeah. Doesn't every farming village have a wizard? You know, now you mention it, it's been a while since I lived in fairly rural Georgia. But <laughs> looking back, yes, you most do towns remember. do have a wizard. Yeah. The good ones, anyway. Do you remember the the wizard for the town you grew up in? Tell me about that wizard. You know, I didn't, like, do a lot of farming myself. Sort of an indoor <laughs> kid. <laughs> oh, okay. But, um... So you never really met the guy. My understanding is that everybody does kind of have to pay wizard dues. Homage, one might say. Yeah. I mean, you gotta take care of the wizard, or the wizard won't take care of you. And the next thing you know, your crops are all, like, full of bugs, or whatever <laughs> happens when crops go wrong. <laughs> full of bugs are, you know, risen from the dead, like the, the bread in Overcooked. Yeah, see, that is a cautionary tale. Do you see a wizard in that game's cast? No. You see an Onion King 
and a dog, and that is no replacement for a wizard, my friends. So what are we doing? I up. forgot what we were doing. <laughs> I'm heading to the wizard. Oh, that's right, the wizard. <laughs> forgot about the wizard while talking I guess. about the wizard. It has been a day. I guess so. We're also, another reason that I'm talking sort of more softly is that we got to record a bunch of stuff because Carrie and I are, first, we're going to, or may have already gone to by the time this airs, I don't know, uh, Vancouver for a convention uh, called Shucks, which that will will or will have been fun. <laughs> uh, Vancouver is lovely and yes. the shut up and sit down folks are lovely as well. And yes. we're looking forward to getting up there to see them. Absolutely. But after that, Carrie and I are finally going on an actual vacation, which I don't know that we've ever really gone on a trip that was just for a vacation that wasn't for going to some con or event or family gathering or something work related. Like, I think this might be the first actual vacation you and I have chosen to go on just to go have fun and chill. Uh, technically not true. Ooh, what was the other one? Honeymoon. The fact that the our honeymoon was the last one. <laughs> Yeah. And we have been married for 12 years now? I think it'll be 13 in December. Hot dang. That's long enough time that we're due for a vacation, I think. The door is locked, though. But you can hear someone inside. Okay, I got it. Kept cool. repeating. <laughs> I did not mean it to do that. All right. I'm guessing that means that the wizard I is not going to be available till like, tomorrow? Yeah. If I remember correctly, because I read the scroll and I couldn't understand it, he will he will reach out to me tomorrow. Okay. So, we'll wait for that to happen. Dang, and this stuff is expensive. Yeah. This is the uh, the traveling cart that's only here, I think, on Fridays and maybe Saturdays? Friday and Sunday? Something like that? Um, but it has auto Not auto-generated. It has random things in oh, it. Oh, okay. And they're all really expensive, but you can get rare seeds here. And those grow, I think, something good. Ancient fruit, something good. And bug Clearly, meat. Clearly, not something I've done. Bug meat? Bug meat. You use it in bait. Like Wh fish why? bait. Why? Oh, oh, I thought you said you use it in baked, that, like for cooking, and yes. I was... Yes, yes, you use it in cooked goods. That only raised more questions. Just but like, no, for, for fishing, um, that, that I can... Uh, that, no, that tracks. It's just like that movie Snowpiercer with the train. Oh, wow, I haven't seen that in a while. Yeah, bug meat. Yeah. You use it for cooking. Spoilers, I guess, for Snowpiercer. You should go right. watch Snowpiercer. Bleh. You should go watch Snowpiercer, though. It's very good. It is very good. And it's spoilers for an early part, so. True. So what's the rest of your farm day expected to be? I am still trying to earn some cash. <laughs> I really, really, really want that backpack you know that's a good idea like we couldn't even afford the bug meat if you wanted it i don't want it there's a lot more stuff going on but it's also kind of noisy and hectic it's hard to say which is better sorry i think i, I, think I missed I, the first part there <laughs> i skipped over the line that that asked if he ever told us about living in the city oh okay yeah evelyn why hello welcome to our little community dear Oh, she's so great. <laughs> she takes care of the flowers and does floral arrangements, and her husband is a huge grump, but deep down, I think he's kind of a sweetheart. Kind of like haven't the gotten... cat that you have sitting in your lap right now. Yeah, the cat that is, like, threatening to claw me if I don't pet her, and mm -hmm. I'm not petting her. You can call me Granny if you like. Mm, she's perfect. I'll probably call you Evelyn, because you're not my Granny. That's fair. But thank you. Ah, spring. The season of pastels. I actually prefer jewel tones myself. Oh, excuse me. I was mumbling about fashion again, wasn't I? <laughs> oh. I think we can give her cloth if we can ever get far enough along to make cloth. Kaylee, you need to stop. Okay, let me move Seriously. the cat. Hang on. Your claws going towards my throat are not okay, and that's not how you get attention. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Apologies for cat interruptions. All right, cat extraction complete. What was I doing before the cat assailed me? 
I don't know. Getting money. Ew, getting it's paid. boiled beet night again. Oh my gosh, he's precious. This is Sam's little brother. Oh, okay. Um, they live here in town with their mom, and their dad will come back later. He looks just perpetually on the verge of crying. He really does, but you would if you had to eat boiled beet night beets once a night. You know, I, that's probably true. Like, like beets are fine, and I enjoy them. But like to have it be the night where we just eat beets, that's kind of rough. Mm-hmm. Oh no, mom's making lentil soup tonight. What, okay, Vincent? So now. That doesn't sound so bad. This is starting to sound like a meal. Yeah, this is getting better. And this is for you. I love presents. Thank you. Also, who are you? <laughs> she knows me. We did this, I think. I guess it is day five. You've probably talked to a lot of yeah. these people by now. <laughs> no, she says, I don't know you, so. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Strange psychic lady just gave her a flower out of nowhere. Penny. Talk to me, Penny. Penny. Okay, never mind. I don't think you're making a good first impression with these townsfolk. I'm pretty sure I've met them before, so that's okay. I was going but to have go they check... met you. <laughs> Maybe. Look at all these people. Hello, hey, Alex. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think you're gonna get along. I think we're gonna get along great. I'm Alex. Hi, Alex. You like football and working out. Okay. I'll see you around. <laughs> I've been dismissed. <laughs> Hello, Doctor. Business has been slow since Joja moved into town. It's hard to compete with their selection. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. That's not the Doctor. Oh, that's, that's the shopkeep Pierre. guy. Yeah. Pierre. My mistake. Robin. You've met my son Sebastian, right? He lives downstairs. I honestly can't remember. He's a little shy, but I'm sure I'll warm up to you if you're nice to him. Hope things are going well on Play Farm. <laughs> Hate to see it all dried up. You and me both, Louis. <laughs> Thanks for your concern. <laughs> wow, he's so caring. <laughs> chain, 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 chain. Oh, chain. yes. How's Bondo? Don't you have work to do? Ow. <laughs> Ow. We're doing it, Shane. Get off our back. My heart. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. The food at Jojo Mart might not be the healthiest for my family, but with such low prices, you'd be crazy to shop anywhere else. Up here is like within earshot, Jody. Right? Read the and room. you hang with his wife all the time. Also, like... That's our cat sneezing, if that got picked up on Mike. Um, yes, the same grump that was sitting on my lap. Uh, Kayla, you're being complicated this evening. Real destructive. And really sneezy. And really you're right, Kaylee. sneezy. <laughs> also, like... You're not saving anything in the long run if you just give yourself health problems with bad food. Is all I'm gonna say. That's a fair point. Cat. Yep. That's my lap again. Mm-hmm. This cat is determined to disruptive. Calico and to be disruptive, I should say. But yes, she is also kind calico. Of a rat. <laughs> it's a fine looking day. On days like this, I like to help Evelyn with public gardens. With the public gardens. I'm just skipping words today. <laughs> you know what? She's we strong don't need for them. her age, but I think she appreciates all the help she can get. Marnie! Marnie! Oh, yay. Too late. No, it's Friday night. Everybody's going to be at the saloon. Whoa. Kind of forgotten. You, you weren't kidding. Everyone's here. Marnie. Ah, oh, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. You're cool, Marnie. Marnie does not seem to notice that you are here. Yeah. You know why? Are you a ghost? Is that why everyone... No! In some way you know everything about everyone? I'm not a ghost. Marnie doesn't notice I'm here because she's looking at Lewis. Good evening, Carrie. I'm glad to see you relaxing at the saloon. It's good for you to take a break now and then. Your grandfather always worked himself too hard. I'll have an extra beer in his honor tonight. That's the spirit, Lewis. Let's see. Robin is also really cool. Oh, that's... Hello. Normal. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> My name's wow. Leah, by the way. <laughs> I'm sorry, Leah. You seem cool. <laughs> Leah likes um, foraged goods, like mushrooms and raspberries and stuff. Ah. She's like an artist who does folksy things. I'm impressed you can remember what everybody likes. I can't remember what everybody likes because I haven't 
tried to befriend. I mean, yes, I have tried to befriend everyone, but I haven't gone through the process of maxing all of them. So there are a lot of folks that I don't remember their likes and dislikes, but yeah. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. So it, does uh, going and talking to everybody in town give you uh, like some benefit on a daily basis? Is that a good thing to do? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. It, first of all, will get us this thing oh, yeah. out of the way on our journey. Like an early quest to yeah. talk to everyone at least once. But also... Um, business has been really good tonight. I'm pleased. <laughs> business, business, business. Business, business, business. Also, um, when you look at your social stuff, mm -hmm. basically you earn a certain number of points towards those hearts, all of which are empty because I'm a sad, sad, lonely person new to town and no one loves me and no one cares about my existence. But um, they will eventually. <laughs> and <laughs> when they do, you actually um, gain points for talking to them every day. You gain points for giving them gifts. The other thing is that when you max their hearts out, it will cap. You can't get more hearts for those individuals, but you also can't lose hearts anymore. Now, with anyone who's single, so all these folks who only have eight hearts, and then there are two that are filled in, all those are, are dateable people. And if you give them a bouquet, then you can date them and go up to like more hearts. I don't remember how many. I've never actually gotten that far. For all of my calling Shane my other husband, it was always just in my head. <laughs> I never truly... It's aspirational. Yeah, yeah. It's a very Eponine kind of story, me and Shane, because, yeah, he was always the one I intended to date, but I've never gotten far enough in a game to choose to start dating. Well, he's definitely single, as the game right. says so. Right. Speaking of aspirations, what have you got planned for the rest of this Friday the 5th evening? I'm heading out to fish. I to think. fish, you say? Yeah. Shoot, my inventory is full, though. You know what? It is pretty full. It's pretty full of stuff that we will have a gajillion of later. Yeah. Who needs fiber? <laughs> or mud. Or mud. No we'll one, that's who. We'll see about the wood. I'll probably keep the wood for now and toss it if I run out of space. You're going to have to talk a lot during the fishing, by the way. <laughs> That's fine. It does take a bit of concentration, this yeah. fishing minigame. Ooh, wait. I understand that on PC, like, there's a little bit of a modding scene for Stardew, and some people have, like, made some tweaks to the fishing minigame to make it a little bit less frustrating. I, I should say that the fishing minigame does get a good bit easier as you level up the fishing skill. Yeah, it, it does. actually gets a lot easier. I think we said that in episode one. I can't remember. It's been a little bit since we recorded. It's been like weeks since that came out. No one remembers any part of that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just me? All right. Um, we uh. also had uh, somebody in comments mentioned that there's on PC an exploit where you can like open the the inventory, I think they said, and it would keep the fishing timer going. And then the fish would get caught, but you wouldn't lose time in your day. Huh. And either I'm doing it wrong or that does not work on Switch. Either is equally possible. Mm, maybe they patched it out. It could have been, yeah. You got a herring, though. I did. I hope you all are enjoying the chill farm and fishing times. This is pretty nice. I really like the fishing in here. Like, I hated it at first. Passionately. It made me really angry, and so I stopped and never tried to do it again. Until you picked up Stardew on Switch, and and that's when it started making sense. <laughs> Actually, what it was, was your mom. She played your game over Christmas, and oh, she picked right. up fishing and caught a fish, like, first try. <laughs> and I went, okay, if she can do it, I can do it. And turns out, both she and I can fish. That's the spirit. Of course I say that, and I'll probably not catch another this whole time. No, you got but... this. Come on, fish. 
Come on, get in the boat. Fish, fish. I don't have a boat. Fish. Get on the land. Fish. Cooperate. Fish. Just listen to this. Fish. Oh, come on. Come fish, on. no. Fish. It's no good to try and make jokes about strong bad while I'm trying to fish. Too distracting. So that little tiny green bar used to be smaller. And it will get slightly larger with each level up. Yeah. And it also, you can change how it works a little bit by using bait. Um, I'm not very good at that, but it can help for people who are good at that. Come on, fish. Okay, it's your turn to talk, Daniel. I'm just kind of chilling out watching the fishing game, honestly. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm doing too, but I can't I can't catch the fish and talk. Okay, Nonsense. maybe I can. Weird. You caught an anchovy. An anchovy? Yay. Whoa. I've also caught a CD. A broken CD. And I'll throw that away if I actually manage to get a fish instead. Oh uh, yeah, your inventory's full. On account right. of the no backpack. Right. Whoa. It's okay. There are things I can use that CD for if I can't catch another fish. This looks like it might... Whoa. No? Fish. Not... Chill. It's not a sardine. What are you? You must be a herring. Ah, no. Shoot. You haven't attuned your psychic powers shoot. to the fish yet, I'm guessing. No. No. Nope. I can sometimes guess what they are by their movement styles, but... Yeah. It's getting kind of late. This will be my last one. Then we'll head home and... A stick. Driftwood! Okay. Well, not keeping that stick. This is another thing I heard about from our commenters. I can just drop it here. That's nice. Yeah. It doesn't work so good if you're trying to drop a stick and want to pick up a flower for instance, hmm. because when you drop the stick, it goes back into your inventory before you can pick up the flower. Uh, so if you're like trying to swap something out. Oh, if it's the sort of thing that you would auto pick up from proximity. Right. Gotcha. That. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I had a, a moment of frustration earlier while I was playing through day two or three, I think. Oh, look, I'm going to walk Shane and Marnie home. <laughs> Um, I think Marnie is Shane's aunt or sister. That I did not know. I don't think I spent a lot of time talking to either of them just because I didn't yeah. run into them frequently in my day-to-day. -day. Oh, it's midnight. You're think... up too late. Oh, hush. You're going to be I'm tired. Fine. I think these two are actually both aunt and uncle of um, Jasmine. Oh. Jazz. But not like married. They're both single people who are or something like that i don't remember exactly the family that i was planning to marry into i don't remember well the one thing they have in common is that they too are up way too late you gotta go to bed way too late it's just a little late i'm gonna dump some stuff in this lewis box your crops are sleeping and so should you <laughs> i suppose that's fair I should have kept some of those to give out in case people wanted them, but... Eh, oh, you'll that's get more. Right. I can dump these in the box, too. Okay. Yes. Gonna start making money. Alrighty. Another productive Stardew Day. Indeed. And we'll be in bed by one. Yay. Thank all you all right. very much for watching. I hope you've had a lovely Sunday time, and yeah. we will see you next time for some more of the... Stardew Sunday on and Play Farm. Hopefully the stunning conclusion of Can We Meet the Wizard? Oh yeah. Hopefully next time a wizard. So we'll see you Tune then. in. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>